Hey guys, Mardik here. Welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hand knit paracord. So in the past, I've shown you how to do this either with a knitting spool or using your fingers to get the same effect as using a couple of pegs. Today, we're going to avoid any sort of a tool and we're just going to be using cord. We begin knitting on one end of our cord. We form a couple of loops. So one, two, we cross them, then we pull out the two inner strands. This one towards the top, this one towards the bottom. So this forms a couple of bites. We start our knitting by forming a new bite on top of the existing one on the right. We feed the new bite into the existing one, then we tighten up the existing bite. We do the same thing on the left. So a new bite on top of the existing one, feed the new bite into the existing one, then tighten up the existing bite. Continue exactly the same way. So a new bite on the right, feed that into the existing bite, tighten up. On the left, a new bite, Feed that into the existing bite, tighten up. So, continue the same way for a while, and then I'm going to show you the end result, plus how to finish it up. For now, we continue exactly the same way. A new bite, feed it into the existing one, tighten up. A new bite, feed it into the existing one, tighten up. Here you can see me knitting in action to get the most consistent result possible. So I use small loops like this just to save time and I control the tightening here at the center. So when I'm tightening up, I try to tighten up equally every time.
So the tightening is what is going to get you a nice consistent result. We finish our netting the usual way, so we feed the end of our cord through the two bytes. Like this, pull, and lock everything together. You may need to do a bit of adjusting, but for the most part, this is done. Now you can use this sort of netting for dog leashes, bracelets, lanyards, all sorts of things. It takes a while to do, but it looks good and quite consistent. Guys, thank you for joining me in this quick tutorial. I hope that it comes in handy. Thank you and see you next time.